Can you hear the rain? Pouring, absolutely pouring. And as I pulled into our driveway, which has no carport, and our kitchen is upstairs, and the stairs are exposed to the um, weather conditions, I got saturated. Um, I actually have a raincoat I wore in my hat, so I'm, I'm drying off now, but it is pouring out there, and really windy. And they've actually got uh, coastal warnings out for winds, and extreme flooding in some areas. So I hope everyone is careful and stays safe again in this weather. Now, I've had a massive sneezing fit. My phone is dying. So I just tried to do a bunch of stories on Instagram and my phone's just crapped itself. So I'll try and go back there and give you guys an update. But I had a massive sneezing fit on there and I'm fine. I've started losing my voice. I'm fine, um, but I started sneezing a lot, and now I'm a little bit sniffly, but I'm fine, trust me. I don't know what is wrong with my voice. Um, but today's grocery haul. I done my Coles, click and collect. I done my order this week, and I saw a discount code. Spend $2.50, get $10 off. I'm like, that's a good discount code. You know, sometimes they do the $20, but $10, you know, it's good. You grab those extra toilet papers if you need. But as I was going through, I was like, there's a lot of half-price things, and... Yeah, we would eat that, we eat that, we eat that. I could store that, I could stock up on that. So I was like, oh gosh, let's do it. I have not done a big grocery haul in probably two months, I'm gonna say. So I stocked up big. This does not include fruit and veg. So this week's groceries are probably gonna be close to 280. But the stuff I have purchased here, I'm still gonna be using in months from now. The stuff I purchased, I saved, I think it was $97 in savings. You're going to see the stuff we've purchased. Some is a treat. I bought Coke and I bought my favorite Schweppes Lemon Lime and Bitters drinks. They are a treat, but we don't drink them every day. They're a treat for, we've done a hard day doing renos or gardening. Uh, we have friends over and we'll have a, a soft drink um, or the alcoholic beverage if we want to. So... They're not going to get consumed straight away, and I've purchased things that are going to sit in my bathroom cupboard for quite some time because I've already got plenty of stuff in there. So this week I spent a total of $234.90, and in that I saved almost $100. So I'm really impressed with what I saved for what I got. I got a lot of stuff, and I've done some really local Australian shopping this week. I have bought Australian milk. 100% Australian farmer owned and all of the proceeds or all the money raised will go to every cent will go towards the flood recovery. So this is milk that I bought down in um, from Lismore, Norco and Lismore got probably the worst impacted with the floods. They are still trying to pay their employees while they rebuild. So happy to help them. And another one I'll share with you is I bought uh, bread flour never done that before it's a lot more expensive but it's an Australian wallaby brand I think so I thought I'd give that a go but let me turn you around and show you I've got a lot we've got a lot to go through this week should I take my phone out the cupboard because I'll forget it's in there I need to get a new phone really bad um there is a lot of stuff this week a lot a lot a lot a lot of stuff Soft drink on the floor. Let's start down there. 30 cans. Yep, we got it. We're good. Um, I'm supporting the Norco milk at the moment. I think it was an extra 60 cents per litre. I'm happy to do it. I am picking and choosing my battles with how I can support Australian and local made. Can't do it all the time. That's just reality for us because um, our grocery bill would probably be around $500, not going to lie. But I'm happy to support the Norco milks, and I'll do it for as long as I can. Uh, the drumsticks were half price this week. My kids like them. We have a movie night every Friday night, so they will actually get those. I probably need to put them into the freezer because um, by the time I purchased them and then got home it's and then put the stuff in from the rain, at least it's not 35 degrees in the morning. So let's just chuck those in there. They're good. They're done. Uh, my favorite meat pies, the Herbert Adam ones, were on sale this week. They're $1.50 off. I love when they're half price. 
it rarely happens anymore. Um, so my husband will have one, I will have one, and the kids will have the little meat pies. So a real simple dinner. Chuck, I put the kids in the air fryer, and I tend to put ours in the oven. So I put ours in the oven for, I think, 30 or 40 minutes if they're frozen, and the kids for 20, and then dinner's done. I don't mind doing that because it's winter, but in summer I'd probably put them into the air fryer straight away. Uh, the Latina Fresh range was on sale this week this was two dollars off it was usually six down to four i believe and the pasta was on sale as well i love this pasta so when i go to my fruit and veg man i'm going to grab squash onion capsicum zucchini and maybe some asparagus and then i mix it through the sauce it bulks up the sauce gives extra vegetables even though this has got spinach in it already and it's a real simple easy meal but i will only purchase this when it's on sale because I know it goes on sale. Olive spread, pretty much a stock standard is the olive spread. I'm treating the kids this week to the double thick custard. I couldn't get their standard custard, although we still have plenty in the fridge. I just thought for a bit of a treat. So maybe we won't do ice creams for movie night tonight. We'll do popcorn and chocolate thick custard. Who knows? I bought sour cream because I'm planning on doing some tacos this week. I did order the Coles brand tacos. You guys know I will buy in bulk taco seasoning or make your own and I'll buy large jars of this. I've got one in the pantry already. This is a backup I'll be taking and then I buy just the shells. You can just buy the shells, not the kits. The kits are so much more expensive uh, and we will go through, like I'll cook these up and we'll have tacos for dinner and then lunch the next day. So it all gets consumed. It's just a cheaper way of buying things in bulk and not having lots of packages and things broken down for you. But I usually get the Coles brand, one because it's cheaper. Um, I think they still get 12 in the pack. They were out of stock. So I only paid for the Coles one, but they gave me the old El Paso one, which is fine. So that's what the sour cream is for. I bought thickened cream because I plan to do a bit of baking and do my mushroom chicken, really easy, creamy dinner one night this week. And we did make scones. So we might have to make some more scones given how wet and crazy the weather is. Um, sausages, I got the two for 12. These used to be two for 10. It is what it is. So I got two lots of pork sausages. I might make some homemade sausage rolls filled with carrot and zucchini and onion and a little bit of uh, flavoring. Kids really like them. Great as a snack. So I make them. Don't bake them yet and I freeze them and then the kids want them. I chuck a couple in the air fry for like 10 minutes and the kids have a snack with some tomato sauce. And then I stocked up on some chicken breast. $10 a kilo. I think we get this for like $9.95. 50 okay and my deli a girlfriend was saying to me if you get it direct from the deli my deli were still selling at the same price as this packaging here so if you can get things from the deli i think that's fantastic i have the th issue of it being the same price so i just grab it in the packet but um that will go into the freezer i've got another one of these in the freezer i will take out and use to do for cooking this week i like to always have reserves in my freezer and not go empty because there are things that I haven't been able to get in stock for quite some time and if I can afford it and I've got the room for it I'd like to have the backup sitting there. The milk I talked about this is the Norco milk so a friend of mine was telling me about it I thought I'd look into it and it definitely goes towards helping the Norco family down in Lismore trying to recover from the floods and get their um, dairy cows and uh, warehouse and manufacturing back up and running because they got massively hit so i'm happy to support them as long as i can because it is australian um and it's always good to support local and your own country where you can um i treat the kids to some pringles i usually get like a little packet in like their um, lunchbox like a little handful i put into their lunch boxes do you know how much these are full price now these are seven dollars full price my kids would consume that like between the two of them for morning tea on the weekends. Um, I didn't pay full price. They were half price. And I thought, geez, that, they never used to be $7. I swear they were like four, $4.50. So I grabbed two of them. And this is the thing that makes it hard. Those that are already on a budget, they're just not going to be able to afford this kind of thing anymore. So they miss out. And then Mr. Pringles misses out because he's not going to get the sales. Um, I will never buy these when they're full price ever, ever again for $7. It's not going to happen. I'll, if the kids want chips, we'll go find a cheaper brand or a home brand or get something else or attempt to make our own at home. 
All right. My son was really not impressed with the Helga's bread last week. He's like, I want my other bread back. So he definitely prefers the Abbott's one, which is great because I do too. So they had the two loaves in stock this week. So I grabbed those and then we'll grab a fresh loaf of bread through the weekend because we're pretty much on the three loaves a week at the moment. I just made pumpkin soup yesterday. So highly likely we'll probably have this much bread tonight with the pumpkin soup. Um, I grabbed this body wash here. I, I actually ordered the liter one that had the pump on it because it was half price, but they were out of stock. So they gave me the two 500 mils ones, which is fine. I just prefer the pump in the shower. Um, but this is a really nice brand to use, the Thank You brand. I use it when the kids were teeny tiny. I actually don't mind it. Uh, and this is actually a, a really nice scent. Oh, it's got a bit blurry um, to you. So I grabbed that there. This is my favorite chai tea to have. If you haven't, if you like chai lattes, chai teas, this is a really good brand. I think I've mentioned it before. I have one of these a day or one every other day. It's like my little treat. I'll have a coffee in the morning. I'll usually have one of these. And before I grab the kids or my way to grab the kids from school, I'll make myself a cup of tea and have it on the drive to pick them up. It's just a really nice drink to have. It's not too sweet. Sometimes we go out and I get like a chai latte and it is extremely sweet and I don't enjoy it. I actually don't mind the taste of this at all. It's very enjoyable. Um, spaghetti was like 60 cents off, so I grabbed a pack of my favorite jams. I love this brand of jam. What the, um, Bonnie Mame. I definitely have um, pronounced that incorrectly. Uh, it's a France jam. I really like it. I got the raspberry one. We do have a strawberry one and an orange marmalade. They're not cheap. So when they go on sale, I do grab them. And then I like to keep the the jars they come in I take all the stickers off and then sometimes if I'm in the mood to make my own homemade jam I'll put them into this or if I use it for like a Christmas gift for something because I like the checkered pattern that's kind of Christmassy I might put like something in the jar some bath salts homemade bath salts or something like that there so I do like the jars they come in noodles do I need to say more I am now on a bit of a journey my little miss has got a um, issue she had an issue with her lymph nodes and her gut and we were working through it and we had thought she'd outgrown it we ended up in the ER the other night because she was in excruciating pain and now we're going to start testing for some potential intolerances um, we're going to look for dairy and we're going to look for gluten um, so I don't know how long that will stay around for. I've just got a feeling she might be eating something and it's upsetting her stomach. I'll talk about it in like a vlog, not in a, a, a grocery haul video, but I grabbed the two minute noodles because my kids love them. I don't need to say more on that one. Uh, the sardines for the dog, they were on sale, so I grabbed two of those. Do you know how hard it's been to find aloe vera tissues at the moment? I just can't get them. And when my kids have a runny nose, I find these softer on their noses and their faces. Uh, I should have bought them in the summer. I need to really start planning ahead now with all of these shortages on things. I grabbed more batteries because we were out of these ones and I thought they are handy to have. They're handy to have in the cupboard, so I grabbed them. Um, cat food, what I'm doing with my cat food at the moment, <clears throat> and he's, he's, he's working his way through it. Uh, this is a tin of cat food, but I have mixed through some rice, they're not maggots, they're rice. That's the dog food that we've got made up there, but I've got the cat food. So I'm trying to stretch his out a little bit because I kid you not, he eats half of a tin a day and cat biscuits. And he's he gollops it down and he's still this skinny, scrawny little cat. So I'm putting in some one rice to help fatten him up and two just to stretch it out because it's starting to get a little bit expensive. I go through my groceries every few weeks and find the things that are really expensive. Our milk works out to be one of the most expensive things and the cat food's starting to get up there. And that's when I sit down saying, well, what else can we do? Can we have less tea and coffee? Can we reduce them down? Um, can I make homemade ice creams using yogurt frozen yogurt for example so i look at things through my groceries over the past couple of months and this one here every week i feel like i'm buying cat food so i'm hoping by adding rice it's going to slow him down i grabbed some kidney beans because i was out maybe we'll use them for tacos this week who knows i don't have um dimension the fruit and veg in this haul i'm going to see how much iceberg lettuces we're growing our own but they're about this big at the moment so i'm going to see how much iceberg lettuce is worst case is i'll just get some spinach 
my kids don't love rocket, so I'll probably spin it that we end up having with the taco shells for this week. Tiny teddies for the kids. I think I mentioned these. These are my favorite drink to have. The Swepps Lemon Lime and Bitters, non-alcoholic. Um, and they were half price. They were $2.75 for four. So I grabbed two packs. It'll take me a couple of months to get through this, because I'll randomly have one as a bit of a treat for myself. The same as the Coke, if we're doing like a massive demo downstairs, or building, or flooring, or gardening work, it's a nice way to sort of like chill and cool off with a nice cold can of Coke. So I grabbed those, but again, if you're looking at ways just to not increase your grocery bills i would just completely cut these out and cut that out and go by yourself did i mention this i think i might have done it in my instagram um go by yourself a really cheap soda stream we got that from kmart it was really cheap um use your water and then you just pop out and grab um cordials wait till the cordials are half price and make up your own flavored cordials you can get lemon lime and bitter flavored cordials you can get coke flavored cordials and just make it that way that is a lot cheaper i will say Rice was half price. I saved $12 on the rice this week. We are getting low, so I'm glad it was on sale because I did grab some. I grabbed a big bag of twisties. We haven't had twisties in ages, and my son asked for the yellow chips the other day, and I think he meant these. So I thought I would get them. He'll just have them as like a lunchbox snack, and we slowly eat down the bag. I refuse to buy those little packets now. They are far too expensive. A girlfriend shared me a, um, a screenshot and she said last week they were like $5 and this week they were like $7.90. And she's like, I just can't do this anymore. So I think she even went out and bought like two or three big bags of different flavored chips and pushed them up. A great way to do it is one, in the container, or two, I've got these cinchy pouches and they come in all sorts of sizes small mediums large you can get long ones you can get pictures on them little miss has got unicorn or they can just be plain so it's cinchies .com.au, BPA free, um, you can freeze them, they're fantastic. I use them for so many things in my freezer. That's got the kids cookies in it that we made the other week. I've got their apple juice frozen in there. I've got my veggie stock used up for there for freezing. That's got the dog food in it and <clears throat> I made that pumpkin soup and I froze some of it. So it's even got pumpkin soup in it there. They last really well, they wash really well. So if your kids are going to school, they're not too hard to open. So you could grab a little handful of them, put them into the Ziploc bag, and they can have them as a snack. So much cheaper than buying those boxes with all the little bags in them, and it's more environmentally friendly. I did grab washing powder this week. Getting low, but wasn't desperate. Um, washing powder for the dishwasher. That was really expensive. I know I need to go to either Office Works or like the reject shop. I just I need to plan that better. That caught me off guard. Um, nappies, Scrub Daddy was on sale. It was $1.50 off. I love these. They are fantastic. I have the mum one at the moment, which has got the soft on the bottom and the, the hard scrubber on top, which is good. But I do prefer the original, this one here. It's great for cleaning everything so i did grab that this is my booster that i mix in with my washing powder just to really get the stains out i guess uh this was half price so i grabbed that there just to fill up all of our hand pumps around the house lemon juice not low but with this uh, with the 250 i'm like well, lemon juice handy let's chuck that into the pantry this was half price so i grabbed a, a dove body wash it's just handy to have i think these kind of things in your bathrooms or pantries that can just sit there for ages can sit there for ages can sit there for ages until you actually need them because everyone has to use some sort of a wash in the shower everyone will wash their clothes at some point so these things are 100 going to be used just store them correctly purchase them when they're on sale when you get the good discount codes and the almost a hundred dollars in savings is well worth it now this is the bread flour i bought i'm finally don't mind my messy kitchen i finally have got my second sourdough starter bubbling away after the first one got washed up let's not talk about that um i just thought i'd try bread flour this is a wallaby Baker's Flour Unbleached. I watched so many YouTube videos on sourdough starters and making breads, and they always say use unbleached flour, Baker's Flour. And the reason they say unbleached is because the bleach in the flour, to make it like that vibrant white, actually kills 
off or doesn't react well with instant yeast, yeast or sourdough starter. And that's why sometimes breads can go quite flat. So I thought I would give this a go. It was not the cheapest. I can get the cheap Coles home brand self-raising flour for like $1.20, I think it is, a kilo. Uh, I got five kilos here and I think it was like $2.30 a kilo. So twice the price, but I'm going to give it a go and just see how things go. Um, but that is my grocery haul this week. It was a very, very big one. I am yet to get to my fruit and veg man. I will be doing that this afternoon and I will be sharing. I think I'm going to just have to do like a separate video for it. Do I put you back into my cupboard? This is like a really good shelf. Um, I am going to pop out and get my fruit and veg this afternoon. Pick the kids with me after school. I'm just having something pouring with rain. Uh, and I'm going to try. It's hard because you buy this stuff and it's like, then you get the total. But I've got an idea after two weeks now. We sit around the, the $36, $40 mark. So I'm thinking $40. This came to, let's say, $240. So $280 for groceries this week. There is so much here. Now, keep in mind, last week's groceries, I bought that huge pumpkin. I have got three massive bags of pumpkin soup, two in the fridge, one in the freezer. So that from last week is going to last me for the next probably three weeks. Um, the rest of the fruit and veg got consumed, which is fantastic. But the same will apply with this here. I have got like three of these sitting in my bathroom. So these two, although I bought them today and they were half price and they helped me save almost a hundred dollars, I'm probably not going to touch these until like Christmas time. So mm -hmm. my savings and my spendings is actually spread across a couple of months, which is really good. That is my grocery haul. I have a lot of things. I went well over budget. Now, if you go over budget, um, I have a budget planner. It's $2.99. It is really cheap. And I give you a weekly, monthly, fortnightly option and there is an over like a cover page and it tells you like your savings and your spendings and then you can see your breakdown of your groceries if i was really targeting wanting to save for a car a house school fees just wanted to get like really savvy and i'm like i am over budget my budget let's say your budget's 150 and you spent 200 this week i would go through the past couple of weeks of groceries find what you're averaging Either one, you might need to change what your budget is, or two, get really savvy and say for the next two weeks or the next three weeks or four weeks to bring your average back down, I'm going to cut $10 from my grocery bill every single week. I, a few weeks ago, did not buy groceries. I bought milk and a couple of bits of fruit, not even vegetables, and I saved instantly like $120 or $150. I saved a lot. So you can do it. I think we get into this pattern of groceries and stock up and fresh fruit and fresh veg. No, 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 no. Go into your freezer and grab your frozen veg and get creative in the kitchen. I've given plenty of examples in videos like this or cooking videos where you can get really savvy. And you know what? There is nothing wrong. And I say this so many times. There is nothing wrong with beans on toast. There is nothing wrong with veggie mite on toast for lunch, for dinner. Um, you don't have to have a certain breakfast and a massive salad sandwich for lunch and meat and three veg for dinner every night. You don't have to do it. Be really savvy and shop the sales. If you want something like a quick fix, wait till these go on sale. If you want to be super savvy, um, you know, get some sausages and mashed potato and frozen peas and corn. I don't like to film videos where I give you like a price point. This meal costs $3.50 because what I pay and what you pay is different. And what I paid last month probably isn't the same today. So I don't like filming videos with price points to what meals cost per serve. Um, but if you get a little bit creative and smart, like with the um, Latina Fresh, for example, I'm going to put a bunch of veggies into here. You could add frozen veggies into here. You don't have to add any veggies at all and just put the sauce through. If you've got tomatoes going off, chuck them into your freezer. Make your own tomato sauce with some onion and some garlic. Put in some spinach and then stir it through here. The tomatoes are going off anyway. Um, you wouldn't have to buy the sauce. Anyway, that is ideas. I hope that helped. I've got so much to put away and I haven't even fruit and veg yet. I hope you enjoyed this video. And Damn it, my, phone, my camera just got full. I was almost at the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you'll probably see an upload tomorrow for the grocery fruit and veg component. I hope you're all well. Stay dry, stay warm, and we'll talk soon. Bye. Bye.
boring conversations with you With you I'm gone